Hi everyone, welcome back to the review section. Um, so like Walter was talking about, South Korea faces a very troubling problem. So I think it was as of 2017, um, the country was actually officially declared as being an aging society. Mm -hmm. So this has basically happened for many reasons, like you said, more people are actually dying than being born. Mm. And I believe that South Korea's fertility rate is at 1.1, mm. which is in a kind of stark contrast to the 2.1 mm. that is required to adequately maintain a population. Hopefully the, within the next couple of years, they can find more fruitful ways of you know, trying to boost the birth rate here in South Korea. But there are so many reasons why people these days are deciding not to have children. And it's not something that you can force people to do in a day and age like today. Fruitful. Fruitful. In your opinion, mm -hmm. what is the biggest reason that people are not getting married and giving birth to children in South Korea? I think more. I think people are, are far more uh, picky when they uh, think about having a family. Some people uh, are just let's be honest, don't like children. Right. right. <laughs> so um, some people just don't want to have children or even get married because their people are either focused on their job um, or they just are more independent that way. I, I don't think, in my personal opinion, that you should ever force someone to get married mm -hmm. or have children because both of those are huge responsibilities when, within a person. Another reason that I hear it's argued a lot is, of course, education costs. Yeah. And the general cost of raising a child in South Korea, mm -hmm. I think, is very expensive. Yeah. Um, we have, like, the academy culture, which yeah. kids go to, and parents fork out a lot of money to, you know, ensure that their children have a successful education and, and life but yeah mm. this has alarmed the government greatly but it it's it's a difficult balance alarm alarm do you think that the fertility rate will continue to decrease or do you think there will be a change i think it's gonna continue to decrease for a mm. while mm -hmm. until the government's um you know financial support mm. becomes good enough basically because mm -hmm. from what I've heard it, it helps but it's just not enough right, to kind right. of warrant having a second child right so unless that unless they can ease the pressure off parents and actually raising the kids I, I feel like it's gonna decrease I mean what do you what do you think yeah I think that it will be uh, a decrease as well maybe a, like a steady decrease mm -hmm. um, yes yeah, so I just don't think the Korean economy is in the right position to to you know raise a child even though some families are doing it um, I'm sure that they're in most cases they're quite financially un, like not unstable but struggling mm -hmm. as they have to put their child as you mentioned into academies um, pay for their education um, just feeding them in general I guess would also be very difficult right right well that's us it for our review section and we'll see you in the next one